This evening in Saluda County where they broke ground today on a new wastewater treatment plant that's going to make sure community members in that area have clean water and a reliable sewer system. Yep, News 19, Shelly Garzone was there and has the details. This will expand our facilities, allow us to bring about 80% of the flow here into Saluda. Jason Fell is the general manager for Saluda Water and Sewer Authority. Located off of North Knight Ferry Road, the plant is expected to create over 300 jobs in the area. This plant provides where we had <laughs> limited capacity on wastewater. It gives us over 3 million gallons of excess capacity of sewer to help allow our existing customers that have been constrained for a few years to be able to expand their operations. New industries that have come in while we were getting this funding to allow to grow or double in size. City officials say Saluda County is currently using facilities in other cities in the area to treat their wastewater. The majority of the 1.4 million gallons a day that we have capacity for goes through Saluda County, through Johnston, through Trenton, through North Augusta, to the Aiken PSA wastewater facility that discharges into the Savannah. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has contributed over $43.7 million for the project. Rusty Craven says this will allow the city to grow. It restricted any, any possibility of growth, really. I mean, because there was, without capacity for, for sewage treatment, is really limited to what the, your economy and to bringing industries and things into the area. What they're doing and, and, and the work that's going on here is just going to improve Saluda County economy and the environment for future generations. According to city officials, the wastewater treatment plant is projected to be completed in July of next year. We're putting in a system that helps our size community grow as into the future. It sets the foundation for everything. So having excess water capacity, having excess sewer capacity allows us to be able to serve wherever people are that need our help. Shelly Garzone, News 19, WLTX.